Hi everybody, so what I'll be doing today uh, Over winter they get uh, They fade Like that And the paint comes off Things like this uh, I may just pile it up This one Or a bee stand to go on So that's made free One goes there one goes here and the one goes there but i'm not sure yet how i am going to do it or how i'm going to set it up so that needs all painting so i have to rearrange all of this down here so we have to well it was a bit longer you see so i have to move the bricks and level it all up as you can see it used to be there so and then measure from this point to this point here then again a measure to this point to that point so how I done it was if you put your back of the heel onto the brick like that so you go one two so that's one here that's two that's three so now I'm going to do the other one back here. So that's number one, two, and let's go three. Yeah. So I could have got away with it just in a little bit further but that's okay this is um well you would say actually one two yeah. two foot well off my feet that is so that's two foot here and two foot just a slight over but that's fine so I'm going to show you again so things like that when the pink comes off they start looking tatty like that and same like that as well so this is number 4 stand so I painted that one up to make it all look nice again now I did have a WBC BR here but then I thought, well, then I thought, um, let's have a, a ornament instead down in the, in the garden. So that's what I've done. So I all need painting up. So then I thought, well, makes so that be another stand for another national BR go on here, which is good. So that's what I've done. So we've put another bit of wood in here to make the stand a fit. So, I always like, tend to like to uh, put a stand here, when you take the super off then, I can put the super there, which is good. But when it's like, let's go back to number one, I will show you. Right, back now, to number one. So, I was saying, is, I haven't got that spare bit, like, that bit over there so then they have to get the trailer when they want to take a super off they have to move it over here into the trailer and do it that way now I was saying I was not too sure about what I'm going to do how I'm going to set this one up same again if I put an eye over here right that means I will as you put it in the trailer on this one. I'm left-handed, so that's what I'm going to left. Or I could put the over here. Then I can move it over to this side here. So. 
so I could have about three BRs on this one. So I could have one here, one here, and one here. Okay, it's going to be more awkward now. Is if I have a BR here, but that means I'm walking to the right, which I don't find very comfortable for me where I'm left handed, I'm not right handed. So if I'm going to have a BR here, so the BR is facing out that way. I never can. Ah, now what I can do, just leave this one here um, and put the super on this side. Then that means I'm going to the left. But as I said, I don't not sure how I'm going to set it up at the moment. Or I could um, put a nuke box here. Probably will, or putting it like a nuke box here. Then I can put the frames down there. I don't know yet until I cross the bridge when I get to it depends what bridge I'm going to take, isn't it? So, not sure yet how I'm going to set it up. But, so, if I do the main ones, like, I got one, two, three, five, six, number... If I got one, two, three, four, five, six, then I, I can put number seven on this one here. Right. What I've been doing these past about two or three days, so I painted this one up. This is a three-way nuke box, so I can be cleaned, whatever. So that's a three. That's a four and a four, so so it's all in sections. So you've got one section to be come out this way, and you've got the bees coming out that way, and again you've got the bees going out this way, and that's blank that side. So last year I had blue tits going in here. So, the trouble is, it's not very really hygienic having bees in one, birds in another. So, I didn't use that one last year. I had birds in it, in it. So, I, what I've done, Jess, is sterilise it all, give it a good clean, give it a good paint up. And this year, I have a bird box ready for the blue tick breeding now, or ticks. So, it says it's going in there, but it's blanked off now, so the blue tits will go in this box here. So there is a lot of work. Keep it A3 up together. You've got the grass to keep cut. You've got eyes maintain. This is the right time of year. I have missed a bit over here, I can see. I can see underneath. Right, I would do that. And then you got the Yard Pro keep together. That broke down. Um, about three, about four times. It had a belt, then the engine went on it. So then I have to put a new seat on there for a second hand seat. Then the when they put a new belt on, it lasted a little while. Then the belt kept on coming off from the back pulley. I thought something's not right there, so I have to put a boot up through to stop the belt coming off so it's sorted. Then my belt was slipping a bit. I thought this is not right because my clutch come up two way 
I'll show you what I mean. So what was happening was I was bringing my clutch down like this, bringing it up like here, it's almost up to the top like that. So it was not much movement, but about, about there. But well, brand new belt. So what I've done, I put another pulley on there for my Oscar Anna. And that seemed to have done the trick. But I've noticed it, it, it's like slower now. Uh, so this is the engine. What I put in, it's a 10 horse now. 10 horse. Then I had a petrol leak. Then from here. Uh, some bees are flying today. It is code 6 centigrade, 3 centigrade. Not much wind, it's quite still, which is kind of quite nice. But it's cold. So let's put another petrol filter in here. So this one needs to choke all the time. If I put uh, on fast, start it, put the clutch down. I've done it now, it puts it in first gear, I will show you. So bring it up. It's not as bad. It's got more of a bite to it now, which the clutch is stronger. Okay, also the spring underneath. Very awkward, you also the spring underneath on these, on these things. So, so I think it's okay now. I'm steering this bit out, but a lot of play in there. And you wonder what that colour is green. This year, colour for the queen bee is green so you get, they have a colour code and I give my mowers a colour code as well so when they come up here I think ah if I didn't put any colours on I think is it red or is it white is it blue so this reminds me when they put colours on the mowers like that so that's green, that's red. Now why do I put colours on? That's a different colour there. Because it was last year's queen, new queen. 5th of, 5th of October 2023, New Lane Queen. So that's when she got mated. So, but I can't remember from what I've, was it from 6, 3 or 2? I don't think it would be from 6. Really? Probably from number 2, I probably but I don't remember so last year was red colour so so that's red um so she will be a new queen then queen this year uh, but oh the bees are flying around today
Some beasts do fly in this river if they really have to. There's a bucket over there for them to have a drink of water. If you pick, pick her up, she will sting. So I know that for sure. So if you find a bee, which is cold, on here, not moving at all, she's only where she's cold. So what you do to save her, you put her in your hand like this, and you. hot air to warm her up so you give her a bit of hot heat from your breath then she will stop moving again once you've done that then that and you can put her in the eyes with the rest so that's how you save a honeybee Painted at this, it's getting dark out now, running out of paint. So that's been done. So done that one as well. I just this minute painted that one up, just the top and the sides. But um, I've done this one now. Not quite finished, but I just done the main bit on the top here. And I just done this one just give it another coat and down the side there as well. It's getting dark and so I need to do the same with that. I've got some more painting to do down in the shed you see they want to use all the paint up and they also give this one another coat as well. So as you can see I haven't got a lot of paint in there now to buy some more so not a lot so I need that little bit down do some miles down there what needs painting up anyway for a best stop and I can always come back and do this anyway please subscribe and to my channel And thanks for watching. Bye.